<laughs> what's up, Facebook? What's up, Internet? Friends and family? Hope everybody is having a good afternoon. Uh, I'm Gardy. Here's my co-host, Kurt, from KK Radio. Me. He's off the screen right now, but I'm with Danny Lee. He runs uh, the Facebook foodie groups out of Galveston and Pearland and the Facebook Depositor. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook, you name it. So we are going around Galveston right now, hanging out with a couple of, of the local restaurants. And right now, we are at Maceo. Am I, Did we say right? Am I pronouncing that? Maceo's. Maceo's, yeah. I Maceo's. am. And uh, we're going to try out some of the food. So uh, can you tell us again kind of what we have? I Absolutely. knew you explained it, but. So yeah, so um, as most everyone knows and is familiar with our muffalata, uh, we've got that here in the middle. Um, it is a huge sandwich. It's nine, inch, nine inches round in diameter full of our house-made olive salad, provolone cheese, ham, and salami. Uh, you can either get it room temp or steamed. Um, we call it hot, but it's just hot with uh, heat, not temperature. I mean, not... Spicy. Spicy, Spicy. yeah. 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 Um, Looks like a pizza, like it's as big as a pizza, pretty much. This is a giant sandwich. Yeah, it's huge. Um, I can really only eat a quarter, mm -hmm. but I do have people that come in and can kill a whole one, you know, with... A blink and a half. So this no is one where you feel like you have four people. Yeah. yeah. Well, It'll feed a family. Yeah, I could. usually say half per person if they're hungry, um, a quarter with a side if not. Uh, <coughs> so, yeah. But that's a big, it's a big sandwich. Um, so, that's what we're known for. And then uh, over the past couple years, we've started to introduce um, a couple other things. Um, most of it is our, not most, all of it is our family recipes. We yeah. use all of our blends mm -hmm. to make everything. So, Right here you have one of my uh, favorite creations, our blackened shrimp po' boy. Um, delicious. Ooh. We blacken our shrimp with our Maceo seafood seasoning. Um, it's divine. We use our, our Corvette sauce and pickle, lettuce, and tomato on there. Um, also, we have our in-house made uh, shrimp and crab gumbo. That also wow. is divine. That's we do one, a dark right? roux. Yeah. I better try this. Dark roux, nice, um, beautiful, beautiful Gulf Coast shrimp. Um, Fresh, you're no, you're not gonna get any better than wow. this. Uh, we also have my uh, my mom's red beans and rice recipe. So uh, this is what I grew up eating. It is it. so good. I it's one of my favorite things to eat, hands down. Um, and I, we sell it like crazy. So our red beans, and then our I just introduced this this year, but it's our New Orleans style roast beef po' boy. I call it the Nola. Um, it is dressed po' boy dressing, lettuce, tomato, pickle roast beef and provolone cheese melted on there. Um, you can get it extra wet if you want, if you know what that means, what does if you that know mean? what you're talking about. I don't, I don't, um, I don't know what that so, means. So wet means extra gravy on it, ah. and then extra wet is like extra, extra sloppy. Yeah. So, so this is this like sandwich, when I go and get like chili con queso, con queso, con exactly. queso. Yeah. That's what extra. it is. Yeah. Wait, so, so it's dripping off your elbows, you know you gotta take a bite. Right. Right. And yeah. that like, is I this want, sandwich. I want a little bit of sandwich and a lot of gravy. Exactly. That's what awesome. wet Means. Yes. We should we should dig in. I'm so yeah, dig in. Pick Try it out. Off this what room. we didn't do was introduce Francesca. Oh, hey, nice hey y'all. Um, so my name is Concetta <laughs> Macia Sims. Um, I am the owner's daughter. I run the place um, as best I can, and uh, I'm here almost every day except Sunday and Monday because I you know like to have my church day and my day off. Um, but you know we serve a full lunch Thursday through Saturday. We serve brunch ten to two on Sunday. Uh, which is awesome, awesome, by the way. So y'all should come check us out. And uh, Monday through Wednesday, we have a reduced menu, but it's a good one. Uh, we've got our muffalata, red beans and rice, and gumbo uh, Monday through Wednesday. Well, speaking of Sunday, is this one being a special yes. one? I saw you have something amazing happening here. So we do, we do. So okay. we're pretty excited to be hosting Valiant good. Church, um, their Easter service. So it's going to start at 10 o'clock. Um, yes. we, we have an Easter bunny coming out you can take pictures with. You've got, um, we're going to do an Easter egg hunt, a, I don't know what he's doing, he's dancing on him. No, I can't have dairy. It's, pizza, the, like. it's the doctor's orders. He's I got you. Okay. Y'all, yeah. disclaimer, he can't have dairy. Because uh, I so, was about but, to lose it on him. But, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and, I want to try it. I want y'all to see, watch this real quick. You see that he's having to do this because my grandfather would not allow changes any changes to the muffalata so if you have a request of anything you have to do it yourself uh, so what we say is you is. know as is as no is. substitutions no changes like so if that. you don't want olives on it that's your problem you take them off yeah. yourself yeah, this, this is yeah. really good and you Thank know what you. i don't eat olives uh that's what almost everyone says yeah. um that i've ever met 
you know, we've got like my girl in the kitchen and the girl who works in the front, Natalie and Sadie. Hey, girl. Um, they both say, you know, we hate olives, but this sandwich is the best. Yeah, I can um, taste the olives. Yes. You think like yeah. it, it goes together though? Yeah. It's like it's like it's perfectly balanced. Know. It goes yeah, together. That's the word. That's the word. Yeah. And that's why that's a, a something that I like to have of all the food I make is you know have good balance and uh, flavor every layer. Is wow. what I like to say. I read a really interesting article. On Actually, on your website, your uh, Facebook page about your great, great uncle, yeah. So, the originator. Yes. So, I can't tell you how many greats it is because I get lost after like two. But um, my my grandfather, like I, I was telling y'all earlier, was born uh, in New Orleans at the corner of Royal and Dumaine. Um, he's a first generation American from Palermo, Sicily. He um, he worked when he was a young boy with our great uncle Tony Lavoy. And they sold muffaladas to the groceries and to the stores in New Orleans. So they had a little push cart that they would go and serve and sell the sandwiches. And my grandfather didn't know the um, the store names. He just knew the, the people's name. Yeah. So um, you know, he he would go and tell him, you know, go take this to this this man and that. So that's kind of how they started. And when my grandfather moved here and kind of was looking to retire, he said, you know, I'm gonna start making muffaladas again. So that's how they were brought back to, or brought to Galveston. He decided he was going to make them. So. How long have you all been here? Um, so the business has been here since about, uh, my grandfather started his company in the 40s. Um, but the spice company and the, and the retail um, came about, well not the spice company, the retail and restaurant came about in about the 80s when my dad took over. Um, he opened up to the public. My grandfather used to sell only wholesale um, and only bulk. And then my dad came in, they started making blends together. Yeah. And then um, their restaurants started to, you know, their customers started saying, why does this taste so good, blah, 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 all that. So he opened up to the public. And then just a couple years ago, um, I'd say a little before Ike, or a little after Ike, we started doing more lunch. Um, and then when I came in about four years ago, we started doing a full lunch. And, and you can kind of see the spices yes. behind her. Um, this store is pretty decent sized and all of it's filled with all different kinds of spices and foods and it's all that you can own. add. It's their own spices that they, it's theirs. It's yeah. uh, very cool. So let's just, go over, sorry. Uh, wait, one more thing. I just want to say whenever you walk in and you just smell like all the spices, yes. It just, it's just good. I don't know. It's cool. I, I just walking in, I was like, my wife would love this place yes. because she's like being on like olive oils and spices and mixing stuff. Her, um, her grandmother, her family is from Italy and they're from Louisiana as well. And so when I called her, I was like, Hey, I'm, I'm at a place called Maceo's. I walked in, I think you would love it here. And I told her that we were eating one of these and she was like, Oh, that's not my giggy. That's what she called her. You know, my giggy, you, she used to love those sandwiches. Yeah. You know, that was what she, she loved. They're really good. Yeah. What are your hours again? Remind me. So we serve lunch only 11 to three every day. 11 to um, three. Sunday we do uh, open a little earlier and we close a little earlier. So it's 10 to two. 10 to um, two on otherwise, Sunday. Otherwise we're here 11 to five and we do have muffaladas all day long. Um, you can get one at any point in time. If the doors are open and we have them, you've got it. Awesome. Yeah. Muffaladas. Yeah. You know, I've been coming here for 15 years before I ordered anything other than a muffalata. Yeah. <laughs> They're just that good. Yeah. But I branched out your roast beef recently. I did not regret it. Yes. Yeah, our roast beef is delicious. Um, I have some customers that I, I I tell them we were out of whatever they usually order just to get them to order something else. Oh. Howie Bentley is one of them. Uh, he's a he's a diehard roast beef fan, and one day I told him we're out of roast beef, and I even had a couple. Uh, my food runner walked by with some roast beef in her hand. I said, don't look at that. And uh, he had to eat something else that day. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I, we've got... I hear a rumor you're famous for your meatballs. Uh, yes, we do. Meatballs. And today actually is a meatball day. Um, let me grab one. I'll let y'all try it. That's Ooh. amazing. Thank you so much. Just a small piece. Good. This is a lot of food. You need to try the sausage. I got, like, food you know, on my shoulder. Look at that. We should have probably had this sandwich and all ate it and not been able to finish it. Oh my gosh, this this would have been enough. Just taste testing this. Yeah, I'm when full. Was, when I was in high school, I could actually eat a whole one like that. A big one. <laughs> not, not Listen, that. I'm I'm gonna be painful, like sick, if I ate. The when whole you were thing. A, a young man, I remember being a kid. Yeah, just being like, I'm oh, yeah. I'm not done eating until it hurts. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. yeah. 
Alright, so I hand roll these every Thursday. Ooh. And any day we have them, we make them fresh. Hand rolled um, meatballs. Y'all are welcome to try it. So this is a, um, a rendition on my great great grandmother's recipe. Um, I do something a little different, which is I stuff them uh, with mozzarella cheese on the inside. Oh, yeah. Um, so when you cut into it, you can see that cheese kind of ooze out. It's delicious. This is really, really, really good. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. I yeah. Need yeah. To don't get the inside, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, they're so good, and I sell them like crazy. Um, I try to have them delicious. every day we're open, uh, but I run out and I can't there help like that. A sausage yes, there? I do so have there, sausage. There's a sausage in this as well and it's oh, yeah. delicious. Yeah, so I use um, bacon and sausage in the red beans. Um, and then in my gravy, so we cook this down for a couple days before we serve it. We oh, use pork so butt to flavor it and then throw the meatballs in and let those cook down so the flavors kind of exchange and wow. make it like, you know. Try. Grandma's Sunday gravy. Can you tell us again your address one more time? Yeah, 2706 Market Street. So we're at the corner of 27th and Market. 27th um, and Market. We're the white building with a beautiful Daniel Anglu mural on the side of the wall. This is awesome. This is fantastic. Danny, what do you think? Oh, I'm so glad we chose to come in because these are things I would not have ordered. So those who so those who don't know, Danny Lee is down here with us. We are doing on April the third, which is this coming Tuesday. We are doing a Cajun, just talking about Cajun food in general, soul food, Cajun Creole, uh, New Orleans influenced, and we're giving away a special gift card to a listener. We still haven't decided how we're going to do that. You may have to call us during our show. Again, you can listen to Kickstart with Guardian Kurt Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Thank you guys for coming out and, and enjoying this food with us. Any final thoughts? This is great. Yeah, don't take our work. Come taste it yourself. Come taste it yourself. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Uh, we're gonna, Thank we have two more places, so stay tuned on Facebook as we travel across Galveston and trying all this Cajun food. Awesome. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all.